Welcome to a well-designed business with your host, Luan Nigara. Luann has a lifetime of experience building a multi-million dollar business with her husband and cousin, and she knows the challenges you face in your interior design business. Luann brings you real-life answers to your most pressing problems, as well as practical strategies to explode your interior design business. So, let's get to the business of interior design. Hey everybody, welcome to A Well-Designed Business and another episode of Power Talk Friday. I have great news for everybody. Fred Burns is back with me. Hi, Fred. How are you? Hello. Great to be back. (laughs) So what's so funny is, Fred, we've been doing this for a year and a half. You were on episode 22, 48, 96, 174. So you and I go way back. And if anybody is new, and this is the first time you're catching our show, A Well-Designed Business, and Fred Burns is new for you, you have a big treat in store because Fred is a coach that specializes in the interior design industry. He has been coaching and writing promotional copy for interior designers for more than 30 years. And he is the only interior design business coach and speaker who creates personal bios and other promotional materials for design professionals worldwide. Okay. Fred's professionals that he's coached go everywhere from Dallas to Dubai. He creates online profiles, websites, social media copy, blogs, marketing forms. And um, I just adore you, Fred. You've you've given us so much value today. What we're going to talk about is that Fred believes that the fall is absolutely the very best time of year for design professionals to market themselves. And he calls fall the prime time for promotion for designers. So Fred, you have me at hello. You know that. But now I got to know why is the fall the best time for everybody to be promoting their business? This is a time for for gold, not just in the uh, leaves changing color, but it's also a time to make gold in your business. And the champions, the champion design professionals realize that this is, in fact, prime time for promotion. This is when the attention span, Luann, the attention span of people you're marketing to, your prospects and your clients, is at its peak. It's a time uh, you have a built-in deadline. That's what I love about the fall is you have a built-in deadline, which is the holidays. <laughs> the holidays. When you talk, when you talk to your clients, when you when you through social media, when you send a letter to your clients, when you email them, hanging over their heads is a realization that if they want to get ready for the holidays, if they want to uh, entertain for the holidays, they need to act now. So whereas uh, other times there's no real immediacy, there's no need for them to act now. That there's a, this built-in uh, opportunity right now. I love it. You know, it. So, uh, so many design professionals think they, they'll send a note over the holidays or, or, or they'll send something in January. And this is what I call Me Too marketing. This is follow the leader in marketing. This is what all design professionals do. It's the fall. It's the fall that's fabulous. And it's the, um, this is the time when you can really make an impact and really get your message heard. There's not there's so much noise in other times of year uh, as far as marketing, but not this time, Luann. This is the time when you have the uh, opportunity to really make an impact with your marketing. Okay. And you mentioned there that we do often send letters or cards or notes around the holidays, but you you have something you call the September letter. What, tell us about what you feel goes into that September letter, Fred. Because the attention span is greatest, because people will be listening and reading and, and paying more attention to your messages at any other time, this is the time you want to reintroduce yourself, reintroduce yourself. And, and your listeners may be saying, reintroduce myself. I've been doing design for 30 years. Why do I need to reintroduce? <laughs> the fact of the matter is that I would submit to you that your clients and your prospects don't know all that you do. Yeah. Maybe you worked with them 10 years ago. Maybe you worked on a room. Maybe you designed a, a law office or something. They are not aware of the fact that you are a full service design professional, that you do it all, everything from concept to creation. And now is the time that you reintroduce yourself in this letter I'm talking about. It's a letter to your clients. It's something you email out. It's a, I, I suggest that you have a fall special, some kind of um, special offer that you can unveil at this time. You mentioned the holidays coming up and the fact that people, uh, if they're looking forward to entertaining or or, uh, uh, if they want you you to work with them uh, to make this a timely thing, they have to act now. 
You uh, may want to talk about the fact that uh, you're going to be raising your prices or prices are going up at the first of the year. So if they want to be grandfathered in, this is a great time to do it. And of course, of course, Luann, this goes without saying, knowing, knowing me as you do, you want to attach your new updated killer bio to educate <laughs> them as to your value and what makes you a star. So P.S. I've attached some background information uh, you'll find useful and that background information is this bio that knocks their friggin' socks off. <laughs> okay. so, uh, and and, and uh, it, it's just a great time to uh, connect with your clients and connect with your prospects and, and really make an impact. So I suggest that people uh, who are serious about building their business, about taking their business to the next level, take advantage of, of the fall to really market themselves and promote themselves. It is prime time for promotion for design professionals. Okay, there's a couple things in there that you said that I like. First of all, you said you would challenge most designers to the fact that probably a lot of their clients aren't aware of all of the services that they offer, and I know this is true. I know oh, this yeah. to be true at Windowworks because my husband has banged it over my head. I mean, honestly, I, you know what? I do the interior side of the business. He does interiors as well, but he is responsible for the exterior. We do custom awnings for commercial and residential. And if I had a nickel for every time in the last 30 <laughs> years, he has said to me, oh, that's such a nice order you had and blah, blah, blah. And that's a nice customer. And we, I talked to her on the phone. And did you tell her that we do awnings? And I'd be like, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or God forbid we get in the situation where, he has contact with one of my customers and he says, oh, and I'm sure Luann told you we do awnings and they, they <laughs> out me and say, yeah. no, I had no idea. <laughs> this is not Whoops. a happy day at the Niagara <laughs> household. <laughs> so it's true though. He's, my husband has always done that. He literally is so good at making sure that every person that he comes in contact with, comes in contact with, understands all all of the services that they can avail themselves at a window works. And you're suggesting that interior designers do the same thing, that if maybe they work with somebody on doing a kitchen renovation, that they make sure that they know that they are available for you know, just right. design decoration. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to just remodeling, right? Luann, I've said it once on this program. I'll say it again, that the, the biggest financial obstacle, and this is, I'm speaking from 30 years experience working mm -hmm. with design professionals all over the world. The number one, one financial obstacle facing design professionals around the world, and especially in North America, is they leave money mm -hmm. on the table. Yeah. They don't educate their clients as to all that they do, and consequently, those clients uh, take their business elsewhere. Right. And that's why the September letter, even if you've been a full-service designer forever, forever, right. you say, we're expanding our services this fall to offer a full, uh, everything from concept to creation, uh, offer a, um, a one-stop shop, including everything from uh, project management and space planning to color consultation and furniture selection. I don't care if you've been doing this uh, <laughs> since Hector was a pup. I want you to announce it in this letter, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will be amazed by how much new business you get because people didn't realize that you right. do window treatments. People didn't realize you do kitchens. People didn't realize you do outdoor kitchens, and so it goes. Right. And you know what? If they don't know that, if, if these old clients of yours weren't, weren't aware, that is not their fault. Right. In all right. due respect, that is your fault because you have not educated them through a September letter or through some other means that you are a one-stop shop. I love it. I love it. And the thing is, you, you mentioned to come up with some sort of a fall special because obviously we are not contacting clients in September and telling them that they can do a design build by the holidays. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. But, right. but that doesn't mean we can't tease them with the possibilities of things that can be done with that time frame. I mean, a lot of people, like you said, they're thinking about the holidays coming and it's not just the obvious. It's not just the maybe there are designers that do outdoor de you know, decorations or they do the Christmas decorations on the interior. But there's also things like a client is sitting here thinking this guest room is just so sorry looking and I'm going to have people coming and staying over Thanksgiving. That's something that you can freshen up 
in three weeks if you had to, in one week if you had to. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, right? and I, don't, I don't think designers should overthink this. I mean, it can be as simple as a kitchen conversation. You're offering a $99 kitchen conversation where you come in and for an hour and a half you give uh, some advice on how people can update and upgrade their kitchens. You know, that Maybe right. that's the fall special. Or maybe it's a free. Maybe, maybe that, that conversation is free because you know and I know that once you're in, in their the space, face-to-face, <laughs> you can uh, basically turn that contact into a contract. You can get a full-service project out of that. So uh, maybe, again, it's a kitchen conversation. Maybe it's a design consultation of, uh, that you call something else. But the point is you're offering something. And, and don't. it doesn't have to be the greatest special of all time. You have their attention. Take advantage of it. Make the most of it. And what we're saying, Fred, is when you work with designers, say you work with a designer who generally charges, <coughs> say, 250 or 350 for an initial consultation. I'm curious, do you suggest that that designer that's already at that level charging and, and earning those, not just has it there, but has actually closed, you know, consultations mm. at that level, do you suggest that they offer a special on that service, that price, or do you suggest that they think of a different way and not discount their their hourly fee? What What is your thoughts on that? I absolutely detest the idea of ever discounting your fees. See, that's because, what uh, I'm afraid of. And I'm wondering, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, it's like once you lower a price on something, then people have a hard time paying for it again. So but you ask and you I, I figure it a different, more creative way? If there's a market uh, niche that you're not connecting with, if you're trying to reach luxury clients and you're just not getting them to give you the time of day, maybe you target your special to those folks. You know, maybe uh, it, 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 certain geographical areas you're offering this this special deal uh, as a possibility, or, or maybe it's just a an introductory meeting you call it, or you, you don't you don't try you don't confuse it with the consultation for which you charge two hundred fifty or three hundred dollars an hour. Okay, so you just I, you I, spin I it a you, little. You spend a little. I want you again face to face in the, in the space of those high end clients that you've not connected with so far and and maybe that would entail you developing fall special which would enable you to uh, have some kind of introductory face-to-face -face meeting so could it be something like this say i typically am charging three hundred dollars for a two-hour consultation in your home could it be something like this where you'd say I'm offering a free in my studio 45 minute meeting to discuss your project and you you call it something so that you're not standing in somebody's space giving them ideas and yada yada you're you're saying I'm offering a chance for you to come in get to know me see my studio space and or you know what I'm saying like it has like you said it has to, it can't be the same thing think of something different that you can give away or offer at a lower price right Yeah I I, I, I... Don't suggest you use the word free ever. Okay. Okay. But, uh, but I would I would give it a name. Call it a fall fix up session. Maybe. Okay. You know, fall I, fix up session. Yes. Yeah, so give it yeah, a name. A give special, it a spin. I, yeah. A kitchen conversation. Fall fix up. Uh, um, uh, interior design discussion or uh, interior design value visit. Whatever you want to call it. But uh, make it a very limited time. It could be. Uh, I wouldn't go more than thirty minutes or forty five okay. minutes at the outside. And uh, make it a fall special, which you promote in this September letter, which I'm talking about, or uh, the fall letter as 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 the special that um, that you're making available on a one time basis only. And uh, it it's it the thing about these letters that make them so effective. And by the way, one of my clients in Indianapolis, uh, her business increased 66 percent after she sent out this letter, which I created for. Her. So um, there's a tremendous value to this. But um, it's the, the key is to make it timely, Luann, and, and, and topical, something right. which is uh, on their minds right now that, that you're announcing. And um, again, you want to bring in those holiday deadlines. You've got a built-in uh, excuse for contacting people in, in, in the fall. You know, you, you contact people in, in March, and they may say, well, so what is she bugging me now for? Right, right, <laughs> but right, in, right. in the fall, you're, 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 you're Reminding them that the holidays are coming up. You're reminding them that uh, prices on fabrics and furniture will be going up at the first of the year, or maybe your your uh, investment in your design services is going up at the beginning of the year. This is the time. This is the time to act. So, um, whereas procrastination can be a problem other times of the year, this is a great way to overcome procrastination by sending out a, a September letter or uh, and really connecting with them at this opportunity uh, at this time of year. And what's your opinion on marketing that talks to the possibility of 
offering a, as a, a gift certificate so that people who might say, uh, you know, if you know somebody that would value my services, you can buy it as a gift certificate for them for the holidays. What's your opinion on that? I, I like that. I think it's taking advantage of the whole holiday spin. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, I, gift certificates are popular and um, uh, they're a great way to reach, uh, to expand your network, certainly. So I, I, I'm all for it. You okay. Know? Okay. Okay. So we have a couple of different avenues they could go. They could offer something surrounding around the holiday decorating. They could offer something sound around a guest bedroom decorating, just freshing up the living room and the, the entertaining areas, um, you know, all of that stuff. And then, of course, to think of some sort of little catchy way to describe it, like you said, fall fix up or kitchen conversation or something like that. Yeah, and remember, Luann, the, the main reason, your main motive here is to reintroduce yourself to the marketplace. These are people uh, who may not know you at all or may not have heard, heard from you in, in years. And um, you're, you're reminding them that you're still around. You're getting back on the radar screen and you're announcing uh, some new and exciting things happening at your design firm, which may not be so new. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. Don't uh, get wrapped up in the ab- absolute literal truth of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you may, again, you may have been a full service design firm for years or, uh, you know, uh, maybe it was a long time ago that you updated and, and streamlined your computer system or maybe or, or maybe you took on new product lines last year or whatever, but they don't know this. And that's why you need to remind them. You need to let them know that uh, you have all this going on. So um, basically, uh, the I, I write a lot of letters for a lot of design professionals around the world. And, and, and the, the message of these September letters is basically this. You're going to benefit in, a, in a, a, a multitude of ways, in many, many ways from all the new and exciting cha- changes happening at Window Works this fall. Right. And if somebody doesn't have a robust email list, it doesn't matter if they have 10 or 100 or, or 1,000, they send it to the email list. But if somebody's sitting there thinking, I don't really have it on email, you just do a, a, a long form letter, right? I mean, we used to do that back in the day before there was email. We used to literally sit there and hand, hand write everybody's yeah. name <laughs> on an envelope and get a letter copied off at the Minuteman, right? And then and, put and a get, little and note. Guess what? And guess what? Uh, snail mail and traditional mail may have more impact. You know, right. People get uh, inundated with emails these days. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe uh, do a little test marketing. Send out half of them through email and the other half uh, through traditional channels. And you may find that you get more results by doing the doing the latter well right so. because some designers if they're in business say under five years they could literally potentially only have 30 clients that they're going to mail to so why not do a nice beautiful snail mail letter to them some i mean sometimes old school is okay yeah <laughs> and, and and you know what i don't I, i'm not limiting this to your clients or your former clients or your prospective clients i'm i'm, I'm suggesting everyone who needs to know you luann well where would you find you them know, where do you want you where do you suggest uh, your vendor vendors suppliers contractors bloggers everyone needs to know because remember what we're doing here we're, we're we're putting in their hands a copy of your killer bio <laughs> this new bio which, which is the, uh, uh, an important attachment for this letter okay um we're letting them know all that you can do and all that you're you're, you're uh, that that you are capable of doing, you are um, uh, talking about all the new and exciting things happening. So it, it doesn't necessarily have to go to clients because people pass this on, and that's why you know I'm, I'm talking about this Indianapolis designer whose business increased 66. percent She said there was a lot of pa- her letter was passed on maybe three or four times to mm. people who. Uh, her contractors knew who uh, needed design help. You know? Okay, so somebody could sit and send it to the, a list of their local realtors. They could send it to the list Absolutely. of their local tile shops or all of that. You're suggesting just really get creative and think about all the different people that you could just announce that, you know, don't forget about me or here I am. I, this is who I am if you've never heard of me. The question you want to ask yourself is who needs to know you and who do you need to know in order for you to dramatically increase your business this fall? And you send and you contact them with this information um, and and think outside of the box, you know. OK. Um, it, 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 yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely the way to go on this. I love it. I love it. it it's sort of. It is. It does remind me of old school tactics a little bit, but it's sort of like we just get so involved in the ways that we market now and talk to our potential clients through Instagram, Facebook, social media. We forget a little bit about that direct, you know, right to them, right between the eyes. Here I am and this is what I do. And of course, you're so right that the fall is a perfect time because it does have the built in deadlines and people will react. People will jump and go, 
I've been putting this off. I've been thinking I could yeah. do it myself, but oh my goodness, let me just do this and let me hire this person to get it done for me. And, and Luann, the, the fall letter is a great way to reach out and, and take advantage of, of the fall, but it's not the only way. I, I have actually developed a champion's checklist based on the best marketing strategies that, I, that I've uh, observed that, that designers have used over the years during this time of year. And let me quickly go over some of them. Sure. I, there's, I have literally dozens of these things, but <laughs> here are some of them. Um, poll your prospects, interview prospective clients on their biggest challenges, then offer solutions to them in your social media commentary, a blog post, an article, or special report. Pinpoint the pain and position yourself as the caregiver and you'll establish your expertise. Speak out, uh, talk to groups, offer your services to give seminars and, and courses, um, uh, lunch and learns, whatever it is. It's, it, there's there's a zillion groups you could speak to, and this and a lot of designers I know get a lot of business from their uh, presentations. So make that part of it. Build your herd as an as a third one. Um, uh, double your database by offering a free report, maybe on the challenges and uh, that that your key prospects face. Um, put it on your website. Get the word out through social media, and you'll attract fans and followers to uh, to this special report. Uh, don't forget to pump up your pipeline. Reach out with regularity. Make 10 contacts a day this fall, every day to those you need to know and who need to know you. And you can't help but attract more clients when you follow the smile and dial strategy. Mm -hmm. Here's a, you know, as a former journalist, I can say this is gold. This is a golden one. Free publicity. Get quoted and promoted. Uh, it's the best advertising that design professionals can't buy. Offer yourself, uh, offer yourself as an interview source to industry blogs and podcasts and trade publications, etc. Submit news releases, guest posts, articles, columns, whatever it is. They need you more than you need them. So reach out to the media. Um, get the fan, get fan feedback. Seek the advice of your very, you know, you know who's got the answers to the questions that you and I can only speculate. Our best clients. Mm. So uh, seek the advice of your very best clients and how you can build your 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 business. You know, take them out to lunch, have have focus groups, but um, pick their brains. The, the people who really love you and adore you, they have the answers to the the, the questions that we have about marketing. Um, cooperate and collaborate, align with allied professionals, connect with companies in related fields and offer to promote them to your followers if they return the favor. It's another great way to boost your base. Um, maximize your message. This is a great time to uh, uh, you know, update your, your social media branding statements, your email signature, your, your voicemail, your elevator speech. Uh, incorporate that only statement. And uh, let me just add two more here. Uh, it's a great time for networking. Spread the message. Get the word out. Uh, getting involved. Get involved with meetup groups, um, service clubs, networking. Be be, uh, be strategic about this because you can spend a lot of time uh, and waste a lot of time by uh, by this tactic. And finally, uh, it's a great time to um, add WOW to your website. Remember from our past discussion, the average website visit is four seconds, two clicks. Make sure your visitors get uh, to your site, uh, can get it and get you in that time frame. Include uh, uh, captivating and concise copy, a killer bio, and a compelling call to action. So th th that's a dozen of, of a, a zillion things I have in the chat. I have site. to laugh at you, Fred. You're a piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all these lists. It's like, whoa, my head is spinning. But I'm going to pick out a couple in there just so that people have – because, you know, Fred, you forget that people are running, walking, doing laundry, and driving while they're listening to us. And you rip right. through this advice. <laughs> no, I know, I know. And so let, let's catch our breaths here. Yes. The point I'm making is that <laughs> any or all of these things, and, and we, can, we can slow down and go over them in detail, but any or all things are great in the fall. This right. is the time to do it. This is prime time. Right. This is it. It's <laughs> <He's> excited. <laughs> Put on your marketing uh, hat here and uh, make, oh, make some noise here. You know, promote, promote yourself as the star <laughs> that you are in the fall, Luann. Right. In, in the, the fall. fall. <laughs> so here's the thing. What I want to say, I want to say, you have given us a lot of tips here. And what I want to say is I know, because listen, guys, I'm in your same position. I'm in the position of helping and teaching and coaching you, but I'm on the other side of it, you know, consumer facing every day with window works, figuring out how is my message to them? What am I doing? How am I reaching them? So when Fred rips through his <laughs> fix it fall <laughs> advice for us, my brain is always clicking on, huh, would I do that at window works? How would I do it at window works? And here's a couple of things in that list that he just said that I think is really cool is 
Number one, when you said get out and meet people and network and things like that, I what I like about that is this is the time of year, if you have children in school, this is the time of year that the PTA is going crazy oh. trying to come up with programming, right? And yes. so, you know, just at the school line, you're dropping off your kids who, you know, ask the PTA, I'm an interior designer. I'd love to do a lunch and learn or little coffee and donuts and bagels and, you know, stuff with the moms if you want on. On, you know, best tips for holiday decorating, something like I that. I have some right? ideas that I think that moms would really benefit from. I'd be happy to come in for twenty minutes or whatever. That's, That's it, exactly right. And they're and they're saying, yes. Thank goodness. We well, have a I've been the program director. Tuesday. I've been the program director for PTAs and for Najabo, New Jersey Association of Women Business Owners. And you just are. It's like editors dying for information. Program oh, directors yeah. are dying for programs. <laughs> so and, and the key is to make. Make it uh, make it timely. You know, right. talk about fall fix-ups. Talk about decorating for the holidays. The, the, you know, speak to the things that are on the on the radar screens of the moms and the uh, others who would attend your programs. Right. Uh, the other thing that I like is, and this is one of those where you can talk all day, but if you do it, if I know it will work, is that 10 contacts a day, 10 phone calls a day. That's a daunting one. And I'm going to tell you why. I mean, I'm, I, you, everybody knows me by now. They know I love to sell. They know I love to read about it, talk about it, do it. And that's a, a basic sales principle. But talking about it and doing it are two very different things. Even when you're somebody like me who has no compunction and I'll call the wall and talk to the wall okay so that's a hard <laughs> one for people that it's it it's a it's something that you could say all day but when you really go to make that first phone call it's like what am i doing what am i going to say and i would say to everybody is do one, do one, just do one for today and see what happens. And when you, you made a goal of two a day, one every other day, the more it, this is like anything else, the more you do it, the more you realize you're just simply making a phone call. You are it not, is, start, you know, changing the world. You're not saving yeah. a child. You're just making a phone call. You know? And what you're doing, you're building a muscle. You know, we spend yes, a lot of money to go to, 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 to fitness centers to build our muscles. That's and, right. And to, uh, um, this is building a different type of muscle. That's building right. Networking and muscle. And start with and, people and, that you're safer with, right? That you're kind of sure. Yeah. That, you know, maybe there's a realtor that you've worked with two or three times over the last couple of years, but it's been several months or weeks since the two of you have connected. So that's a warm person to call. But that's if for somebody, Fred. Look, you and I are not afraid to do this stuff. But for so I have I have learned that, and I'm sure you have too, with all the coaching you've done, is that for a lot of people that this is a very difficult thing to sit down and say, I'm going to do this. So my, my advice is always to start with somebody warm, even if it's several months, they know you and they're going to take your call. And, or if you have to leave a voicemail message, you can say, Hey, we work together. You referred me to XYZ client several months ago. And I just want to let you know, I have a fall special coming up. If you could give me a call or I'm going to send it over to you by email, any of your clients that might be interested in it, you know, yada, yada. A lot of times I offer a finder's fee. That's up to everybody individually visually, what your relationship is like. But, you know, that's a great one, those phone calls. But don't make it, oh, I could never do 10 every single day. So now it's off my list, right? Like, yeah. do a little bit, yeah. like have do one and, sit up today. <laughs> and, and exactly. And here, here's the magic, Luann, you never, ever know. Right. You never know when you're going to be connecting with someone you haven't talked in a long time who, who really right now needs your help. Right. And, uh, you know, as Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, and you know, there's, I would say of, of the, the many items I just listed, that this is probably the most um, exhausting, you know, because you leave a lot of voice messages mm -hmm. and you, you, you send out a lot of emails that aren't returned. But uh, pumping up the pipeline in the fall is a, a, a shortcut to success. There's yeah. no question whatsoever. Yeah, and you, you know? do, like, I, I really am just saying to you guys, just try it and, and try it on. And, and you'll get to the point where me, and I'm sure Fred is the same, I have this thing, 25 phone calls to one yes. 
So I, you, I can hear no 24 times and I'm, I'm still happy. I'm still, Hey, we're moving on. Let's do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, you know, it's, it takes a particular mindset to, to be that way, but you can learn it and you can cultivate that skill. And like you said, you can exercise and strengthen that muscle, but it's an important muscle to strengthen and exercise of all the things that we do as business owners. We are the salespeople for our business and all of your suggestions, Fred, really at the end of the day are are all different ways to sell yourself to the same customers, clients that you have existing and to new ones. And so don't get afraid. Okay. No. That's what and, I'm saying. And, and, and there's another thing which I quickly discussed in my, in my 90 seconds rant <laughs> a few, few minutes ago is this idea of, of uh, polling your prospects. In other words, mm. um, finding what, what are the biggest challenges they face. And, and mm. if you don't have time to poll them, just kind of speculate. What are the biggest design challenges in the fall that your clients face? And then make that the topic of your blog posts. Make that the topic of your texts, a topic of your texts and your social media content. Talk and tweet and text about the biggest challenges facing, uh, design and decorating challenges facing your clients this fall. Uh, do a special report or an article if, if you can and, and put it on your website. But this is how you get business from your blog posts. You know, when you when you when you stop talking about the, the fabrics you saw at this show, but instead talk about the biggest design challenges facing um, your your clients and, and area uh, homeowners and business owners this fall and addressing those, not giving away the store in the special report or this article or this blog post, but just kind of positioning yourself as the caregiver, the one who can get them out of this pain by uh, working with them on, on this in the fall. You know? Right. And I agree, Fred, because a lot of designers, they often will share their what they love in design. I'm loving this lamp by this company now. I'm loving this rug, <laughs> yeah. which is, you know, fabulous and terrific. But nobody is going to Google which lamps do I love, right? They're yeah. going to Google, how do I pick a chandelier or what's, what length should the chandelier be off of the dining room table? That's what they're going to Google. So you might want to show all the beautiful lamps that you saw at a recent market, but the blog post should talk to how do you select the right size lamp for your chandelier for your dining room table and then say and here's you know all the examples of great lamps that i have as resources and you can call me yada yada right fred yeah yeah i think that makes a lot of sense and and understand that a lot of clients right now share the same pain um, and, and 900 relatives are coming in over the holidays and their <laughs> homes look like they were built in 1957 so okay. What can they possibly do to update and upgrade their space uh, before the holidays come in? So that that is a no-brainer. You definitely want to talk address this idea of holiday entertaining and what people can do now before time runs out to um, enhance the look and the feel of, of their homes or, or, or whatever. So um, that's a, certainly a pain you can address in your blog posts and in all of your marketing um, this fall. And the other thing that I would say is that I think would be a nice hot button to push is if you are an interior designer that has trades more or less at your beck and call, you know wallpaper guys, you know painters, you know tilers, and they are part of your go-to team to express that because I know as a consumer, I might think, oh, could I really redo this guest bedroom between now and Thanksgiving? But if I know the designer is coming through the door, not only with the ideas, but with the team behind it to do it, I don't, in other words, the designer that isn't just GCing the project and then I'm still, so if you can let your client know that, hey, and once we have our little idea all worked out, I'm going to roll right in with my trades. And, you know, even if they hire those trades separately the designer doesn't get involved with it money wise because I'm, I'm going through that right now with a client you know she, I don't do full service design she's been my client honestly for 28 years this is the fourth wow. time yeah we're the fourth time yeah. we're redoing her house together and she has been searching high and low for a painter and I've given her three painters that I know love and trust and two of them are not available until after the holidays already and huh. one of them won't call anybody back so we're all looking at each other it's the middle of august right now and she's saying i want to do my window treatments luann and we're going to move forward but we all know we're going to get stuck when it comes time to install them because i have to have the rooms painted so right. if, I, if i were full service 
then I would be like, hey, I got that covered. You know what I'm saying? So I right. think that's a very relevant. And what you said earlier, what my husband always says to me is your clients might not know that that's part of what you bring to the table, that you have those people that are going to answer your phone call and are going to put you at the front of a list. No painter's putting me at the front of his list because I'm not giving him work on a regular enough basis in order for him to put somebody out of the line for my client. But if you're a designer who is feeding a particular painter or wall cover or tiler every I know if I get fed every single month by particular designers, if they need something, they get it from us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I move heaven and earth for the people that bring me business every month. Okay, you only I need six weeks. You gave me three. I'll figure it out. <laughs> nice. and, and, you know, this whole discussion brings us back, it seems to me, to the fall fix up session we yes. talked about earlier in the letter. In other words, you're you're you're, you're blogging about this pain we just discussed. This idea that people are really uh, ner getting nervous about the holidays coming up and all the entertaining they have to do. But the solution, Luann, right. the, the call to action is. Call me for a fall fix-up session. And I'll kind of, that's, that's a fall special. That's our fall special. I'll come in and we can talk about this and I can help you. I can guide you through the process to, uh, to update your home in time for the uh, holidays. So um, you're not just reminding them of their pain. You're giving them a great antidote to it, and that is the fall fix-up session, getting you in their space. And uh, it, is, it really works well. It, I love it's, it. It's, it's, way to do it and that would it ties it all together i'm laughing now thinking about all of us that are in the same facebook groups that we're all going to have a graphic in the next you know couple of weeks fall <laughs> fix up session but you fall. know i'm laughing but i know it'll be fine because we all have our own different audiences our own different things we happen to see each other's stuff <laughs> maybe, maybe we should shorten that to the fall fix get your fall fix you know <laughs> whatever it takes uh, We'll know I, what kind of I, reach is happening if we have more than one of us with this get your fall fix, right? <laughs> but but uh, the one serious point I, I want to make is, is, is to, your, to our listeners is don't miss this, this golden time yes. to market yourself. This, this is really prime time. I agree. And, and um, this is you. It's much, there's not as much noise up there out there. Uh, people are more attentive to your messages. And, and, and here's another important point and a very important point. Why you want to market yourself in the fall People round about gift buying time, round about November and December, start deciding they have no money. They have, they, you know, mm -hmm. they, and budget becomes a, a paramount concern. That budget concern goes all the way through their visa bills in February. Right. So now they don't have that mindset uh, yet. You know, right. They, right. They, don't have, they don't have that <laughs> that lack mentality. They will soon, but in the fall they don't. You know, this is it's all about. And so we want to make sure we get to them. We get we reach out to them before they start feeling poor. Right. No, it's true. You're, it's human nature. You're exactly right. And it doesn't matter what level of pocketbook you in your home exists in. We all have that feeling based on whatever our level is. You know what I mean? So you're right. Yeah, I, right now, it's all like you know hunky dory. <laughs> we we have several weeks before what I call the oh my god period. The, oh my <laughs> oh my god, honey, we're spending too much on holiday gifts. And then in January, oh my god, look at these visa bills. Exactly. Oh, oh my oh my god. Uh, they're, now they're they don't have, they're not in an oh my god mindset yet. And no. so let let's let's uh, strike when the iron is hot before we lose them forever. I you know, a lot, a lot of designers say. Well, once the holidays come, uh, they're probably not going to be uh, too receptive of our messages. But I, I think that period starts before the holidays. And uh, that's why, again, the fall is prime time for promotion for design professionals. I love it, Fred. You always bring the value. That's the truth. You <laughs> crack me up. But you know what? You're always very spot on with terrific advice. You do have the services to create a killer bio. You do do um, coaching for interior designers in their business. And, of course, this, you know, have a fabulous fall. This fall fix-up is an, a genius idea, and I love it. And I just want to tell everybody that both... Both Fred and I are going to be at America's Mart in Atlanta uh, the last week of September. Fred is going to be presenting his Create a Kilo bi Killer bio on September 27th at 1130. And then he's right. going to be part of a panel discussion, Pitch Perfect, Keys to Securing Great Press. And that is going to be on the 27th at 1 o'clock, so 1130 yes. at 1 o'clock. And then I'm going to be there on the 26th at 1 o'clock, and I'm going to be moderating a panel called Talking Tech for
for designers. And I'm going to have my buddies there, my homies, Sarah Daniele, the CEO of My Doma <laughs> Studio. And, oh, yeah. Yep, and Sandra Funk from House of Funk and my friend Mark McDonough from Tastefully Inspired. So I'm going to be grilling those three on tech and how they use tech and what the newest and latest things are coming up in the market for designers to enhance their businesses through technology. So uh, anybody uh, who's going out, they got to come and meet us, right, Fred? Absolutely. If they're anywhere within uh, 2,000 miles, come to Atlanta <laughs> for uh, September. Hey, Luann, I wanted to mention one thing, that if people are interested in, in getting help in, with their fall letter, if they're interested in uh, having a fall strategy, go to biobriefing.com. That's a 30-minute session where we, we can do we talk not just about the bio, but other fall fix-up strategies. Um, right. and, and we can kind of create, a, a, do a little coaching thing, and, and I, I can help you set up a fall marketing strategy so you can really take advantage of this prime time for promotion. So biobriefing.com, B-I-O-B-R-I-E-F-I-N-G. Uh, sign up for that. I know it talks about the bio, but you and I can talk about your fall marketing strategies and make the most of it. I love it. And everybody, it's Fred Burns. It's B-E-R-N-S, okay? All righty, Fred. And of course, if you are new to a well-designed business podcast, please go back, listen to episodes 22, 48, 96, and 174, because <laughs> Fred kills it every time. <laughs> Thanks, Fred, for coming back again today. It's been a joy. Thanks so much, Lillian. Thank you for joining me again today for another episode of A Well-Designed Business. This podcast is a production of Window Works in Livingston, New Jersey, your trade resource for custom window treatments and awnings. Learn more about Window Works at www.windowworks-nj.com. All of our music is original music by Room 2 Productions. Please contact us if you want to learn more about original music for your business or your events. <laughs>